I am Bart Staszewski, I'm living in Poland, I'm 31 years old, I'm a LGBT activist and actually I face many consequences of my activism. We are at my home and uh, this is my lovely space. This is the only place where I feel secure on a very daily basis because when uh, the worst time was uh, actually 2019, I was just thinking when the police would came for me. I became a defender of the LGBT rights when I was 20 years old. I was very nervous about the uh, LGBT NGOs uh, doing everything wrong. It was in my imagination that they were doing wrong. I came into the idea that maybe I could join them and do something about this if I think it's wrong. At 2016, I made my first documentary, Article 18 actually. It's about the Article 18 of Polish Constitution, uh, which says that marriage is a union between the men and women and so is protected by the state. We made a documentary about this, going very deep, trying to explain why it's happened, so that 30 years after solidarity, 30 years after democracy in Poland, we don't still don't have any kind of rights in Poland. Since 2016, I started to be more and more uh, dedicated to the activism. I, together with my friends, started the first Pride in Lublin, which was my hometown. Uh, and it was very important for me because uh, my hometown for, my, for myself was something very grey, some, some kind of, maybe not a nightmare, but something very deep in my past which I wanted to, to forget about this. Suddenly when I heard about the, about the group, which is trying to make a very first pride over there in the east part of Poland, a very conservative one. So I told myself that I want to be part of that. And I uh, started the pride, which was a very beautiful thing. It ended in a riot because there was many hooligans attacking us, but on the other hand, it was very important to happen. And so there was now third pride parade in Lublin, where there was no hooligans at all. Uh, and I think this is the, the change. This is the, our small stone which happened over there, uh, something that made us to be an activist. This story made me think that you will always need to fight for yourself. It will, never, it will be not given to you. You will need to fight for it. When law and justice came into power in 2015, nobody expected that they would target so much LGBT people. The worst year was 2019 actually, and it happened during the presidential election. We was a target of an uh, incredible hate campaign. They started to create uh, places that declare to fight with the so-called LGBT ideology, commonly known as LGBT free zones. And they were very proud about this phrase at that time. There was uh, they, have in, they have no problem with calling them LGBT free zones. There was many interviews made with the um, land justice politicians who were declaring that Poland without LGBT people would be beautiful. I mean, it was a horrible statement, should never happen in the, in the Europe uh, in the 21st century. But it happened many times. Different codes, different jokes, all, with, all the times about the LGBT people. So we were under the constant attack, feeling that we are second category citizens, not knowing what will the future be. So I was thinking that if they are so proud about being themselves, so, so homophobic and creating those so-called LGBT free zones, so let's make it happen, let's make it visible actually. Let's put the mirror to those horrible homophobic faces. So I created a yellow sign, which was like a outcome of those homophobic resolutions. Uh, and I put it, uh, it under the name of those municipalities who declare with those horrible statements. I also wanted to give the voice to those people, LGBT people living over there, uh, to make their statement bold, visible, uh, because no, nobody was asking them before to speak out. I posted those pictures like in January 20, uh, and it went viral. I mean, nobody expected it to be. So I was just making those photos to, 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 to highlight those resolutions, and suddenly it became an international story. It was the very first time when I was so visible. Uh, there were so many journalists around me, and of course the current government propaganda started to lose. Their aim was to show Poland as a country where uh, everybody is equal, uh, no matter what everybody is telling. We are the proud country with the proud history, dot. 
And so it started to be uh, one big propaganda story. And after, after we became visible and our voice started to be a part of the debate. So also for me, it means that I got lawsuits from those municipalities which was encouraged by the like a Minister of Education of Poland who told uh, uh, many times that Bart Staszewski should be sued by those municipality and so it happened, this lawsuit for defamation happened to me. The friends of mine who created the map of Poland, a virtual map of Poland, uh, collecting all of those places who declare with this LGBT Freedom Act, uh, got seven lawsuits. Prime Minister of Poland described me as a fake newsmaker. Uh, public TV blamed me for every penny that Poland lost uh, having those declarations. Of course, it's about the European funds and Norwegian funds that had been cancelled for Poland because of those LGBT reasons. So it was a very easy propaganda story in Poland that because of my story, uh, Poland is losing something. Go to the Netherlands, the, go to the some countries where you have full, full equality. I still feel that I have a job to do here and it's my country. I will not be uh, one of those who has been by force put it out of this country. Uh, so you can imagine when you, uh, your face is broadcasted in the prime time uh, in the public TV, which is watched by many millions of polls. Uh, and then you get many threats on the internet, like death threats, threats that you need to be careful when you are going out because you are anti-Polish and therefore we need to make something with you uh, because Polish courts is not something we can depend on, uh, they are full of the communists and we need to make uh, justice in our own hands. I make many compliments to the police about those death threats I got. I don't believe that police is very interested in uh, taking those cases seriously, those cases against uh, uh, those death threats I got. Uh, so I feel not secure and I don't feel protected by the police. It's very hard to answer why I'm doing this and why I'm doing this but th th despite what is happening around me. I think that I am one of those who are powered by the uh, people who are supporting me. I think that my biggest success was so far to highlight the homophobia in Poland, highlight the, the, the problem of the LGBT free zones and the homophobic politicians, and to get the feedback that we are not alone. It was our success, that this, this solidarity that came, to back, came back to us. Uh, and I think that it's very important to us to feel that we are not alone in this battle, that it's not just about Poland, it's just about the future of Europe. As activists, we devoted, we dedicated ourselves to this battle, we dedicated our time, this, this prosecution that we get, got, this trial that happened, uh, it's, not, uh, it's worth something. One of the biggest successes uh, of my and my fellow friends is that there is no more, more, no more LGBT free zones actually. Those who are, which are left are few. Uh, the biggest of them, the, the, the province uh, LGBT free zone has been deleted, which draw by the communities telling that we was, it was a mistake, uh, we are for the LGBT rights. I know that politicians used to lie and I don't believe into those declarations, but it's our success. By our pressure, by our effort, uh, we made it. I believe that we are not an alone island. Uh, we have relationships, we build a community around Poland. We have European Union, UN, many international bodies who uh, are to protect uh, people's rights, to uh, feel safe actually in their own countries. The more I see the Polish government is uh, closing to the Putin Russia and to the Hungary, to Orban Hungary, uh, so I'm afraid of the future of what happened then. We are risking actually to be uh, for some reason put it outside of the European Union in the mass to live it. To work on the LGBT rights we need to be at the table not just speaking about this. I think that Poland needs to choose if we are the part of the European Union and we acknowledge that your LGBT rights are human rights and so we should be equal or not and so we are par apart from the society, European Union group and other uh, bodies that we think that are uh, important. Uh, we are making our best, we dedicated our li lives since many years now to this fight and I think that we deserve to be at least listened uh, and our advice acknowledged. But I see those young faces on the protests and I think that it will be sooner than later uh, to change this government and to have this equality in, in next years I think because it's just a political will which we are lacking and this is all we want.